IRGC Ground Force gets new combat equipment. In a ceremony attended by Commander-in-Chief of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Major General Hossein Salami, IRGC Ground Forces Commander Brigadier General Mohammed Pakpour and a group of commanders, officials and senior experts of the armed forces, a variety of strategic weapons and modern defense equipment joined the IRGC Ground Force. In this ceremony, all kinds of combat equipment in the field of armor, missiles, vehicles, WAFs, helicopters, and electronic warfare join the IRGC ground force. Missile launcher systems, equipping attack helicopters with Game 114 missiles and Mirage 113 and Hanif drones were among the most important pieces of equipment that joined the IRGC ground force in this ceremony. Game 114 is an anti-tank missile with a range of 10 kilometers, which is capable of destroying fixed and moving targets with a variety of thermal and laser detectors. And new and upgraded generation of anti-tank missiles, bombs and precision-guided missiles were among the tools and equipment that joined the IRGC ground force today. Also in the combat support section. A set of multi-purpose vehicles, artillery and tactics joined the IRGC ground force. The ground version of the Almaz anti-tank missile was also unveiled this morning. Almaz is an Iranian top attack anti-tank missile that has a range of 8 kilometers. Deputy coordinator of the IRGC ground forces General Ali Akbar Poor Jamshidian delivered a speech at the ceremony, saying that today, the IRGC ground force can conduct its operations independently at the tactical, strategic, air, naval, cyber and electronic levels. The IRGC ground force is becoming a powerful strategic force in the field of ground combat, defense security, he added.